WHO and two weather. Kamaka Pili. We made it to Aloha Friday for a lot of us. This is the beginning to a three-day weekend. For some, it's not. <laughs> what we're looking for tomorrow for our 4th of July really is just the elevation of our rains. That's what we're seeing in terms of our threats, and that has to do with the winds. And as you notice today, the winds have weakened, creating an even warmer day. As we get in through the holiday weekend, we can expect the warmth to continue. Today, we did break a high temperature record breaking number uh, from Hilo, clocking it at 88 degrees which brought, uh, broke the 87 degree high temperature mark coming back from a few years ago in 2015. It definitely is summertime. The warmth will continue. Again, our winds will remain light from tomorrow, lasting through Sunday. Once we get through Monday, we're going to start to see these numbers start to jump back up to around 15 to 20 miles per hour starting Monday. And then even as we get into the middle of the week, that's going to ramp up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So we do expect breeziness to return. We have to get through a couple of days first of unbreeziness before we get Get there. <laughs> In terms of shower activity, we are going to be seeing a mix of chances of windward and leeward showers tomorrow, and that number will decrease as we get into Sunday. Towards the east of the islands, we have a couple pockets of moisture that will increase shower activity for the windward sides. We're already starting to see the effects of that first batch. As we get through tomorrow afternoon, that second batch of moisture will start to sweep over, bringing showers into Sunday. And due to the light winds for the leeward sides, we can expect afternoon cloud coverage to result into some sporadic shower activity because of the daytime heating really warming up that area. Until then, what we're seeing tonight, again, that first batch of moisture is starting to roll through. So we're seeing some portions of the state getting some heavy showers. Ni'ihau has been seeing some showers flare off, along with uh, the, the east side of Kauai. All of that moisture is starting to come in here along the Ko'olaus for Oahu. Lanai City really flared off a few hours ago, little over an inch in just about uh, two hours or so. And Hawaii Island is getting some of that moisture being brushed up from the southeast. Now, what we're seeing for uh, right now, it again, is hurricane season. One disturbance so far in the eastern Pacific. That has a 30% chance of turning into something. Make sure you guys have that KTUN2 mobile app on your phone so you guys are in tune with the latest. For our waves, 2 to 4 for the east and south facing shores. Calmest conditions up at the north, flat to 2. For 4th of July, again, you can expect an increased chance of shower activity, which will decrease on Sunday. Windward showers will return mainly on Monday. That's when our trade winds are expected to ramp back up. But it's going to get breezy as we get through the ending of the weekend. Again, just a couple days of hot and humidity and warmth before we start to see some relief. Howard, I'll give it back to you.